45 years old and I consider myself to be a very healthy person as far as my eating habits and my exercise. Every day around 5 o'clock I really like to have a glass of red wine. Unfortunately, it doesn't always stop at one glass. Before you know it, I'm into two or three glasses. So, am I doing myself some really bad long-term damage or am I okay? Thanks and let me know. And here's Caroline. Welcome, Caroline. Thank you. So, before I talk to you, Caroline, I, I want to remind everyone at home, studies have shown some benefits to alcohol. It can raise good cholesterol, it can reduce the risk of diabetes, but for women, the recommended consumption is no more than one drink per day. So for you, Caroline, when it comes to wine, this is five ounces. That's a full serving. This is what you should be drinking no more than every day. We talked about the benefits of a little bit of alcohol, but how about excess alcohol? We know that if you drink too much, you can do things, you can raise your blood pressure, you can raise your triglycerides, it puts you at risk for heart disease, puts you at risk for stroke, and most importantly, we're on the subject of your liver, that we know that alcohol, excess alcohol use can affect your liver. So, I wanna show you a couple livers here. This is a nice, healthy liver here with this gray, smooth consistency, right? Mm -hmm. You see that? Well, what happens when you drink too much? You can get what we call cirrhosis of the liver, which just means scarring of the liver, and it gives you this scarred, shrunken-like appearance to the liver. Right, and now Caroline, we did send you to the lab and checked all your liver functions, all right? And all your lab results did come back normal. So that's good, mm -hmm. no liver damage at this point. Oh, okay. good. <laughs> Before I give you my final recommendation, I wanna show you exactly what the liver does and what it accomplishes because most people don't think about the liver until it's too late. A very crucial body organ to normal functioning. And the problem is the liver does so many different things, I can't even succinctly tell you, but one of the things it does is it removes certain elements from the body. This is bilirubin, which builds up with the breakdown of red blood cells. If your liver's not getting rid of it properly, that's what causes the yellowing of your eyes, the yellowing of your skin called jaundice, can be very dangerous. Well, what else does the liver do? The liver removes other things. It does process alcohol, a lot of the prescription medications you take. And obviously, if it loses its ability to do that, it can lead and cause liver failure. Once your liver starts to fail, what else can happen? Kidney failure, you're getting the picture. This is a cascade event. But beyond kidney damage, here's a really important part of the liver function. Creating proteins, proteins that clot your blood. Albumin, if you don't have enough albumin, that's a very important protein. All the fluid in your vessels spills out. It can end up in your belly. This is called ascites. If you've ever seen someone with a big protuberant abdomen, if they have alcohol, liver disease, or any sort of liver disease, that's actually fluid. But last but not least, this is something I see far too common in the emergency department. Your liver normally processes ammonia. People with liver disease will develop too much ammonia, it goes to their brain, and it causes severe altered mental status. I see people with liver failure in the emergency department all of the time. Not a shift goes by that I don't, because of course, people don't realize they have it until it's too late. And the take home that I would have for you, Caroline, and everyone at home, is your liver function tests will be normal until you're right at that tipping point. One glass a day is what's safe. You know, if you're at a party on the weekends, we're not going to sit here and say that you could never have more than one glass of wine. But when it comes to your health, if you're making it a habit of two, three, four a night, that, you know, not you per, in particular, but yeah. anyone out there, right. if you start to get in that habit, slowly over time, you can do damage. So that's why we say, one glass for women, mm -hmm. no more than two for men, and then make it a treat. You can I drink that? <laughs> 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 That's a <way. laughs>